Hey, so <laughs> I can't even talk. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Yo, I'm Pretty, also known as It's Tay Imagine, and I'm back with a video. Today's video is gonna be different. Um, I'm still gonna be speaking about the Lord and everything like that, but I'm just gonna add my little mixture to it. So, um, guys, um, today's my last day of this hell job that I had and it just shows me that no matter where you go nobody's going to like you especially especially if you are close with the Lord and it's crazy because they're trying to make me not even speak right now I'm trying to make me speak in tongues and stuff but the place is just not it I, I really can't wait to move and, you know, just, like, start all over, all over again. Like, I feel like I am I keep starting all over and meeting people who are trying to ruin my life. Like, no matter where I go, there's someone always trying to ruin my life and ruin what I'm trying to build. Like, you know, like, I just go to work, I mind my business. I stay to myself, I'm quiet, I don't talk to nobody. But somehow there's still these evil entities that wanna just come my way and wanna bother me. Like, you know, um, it's just like, damn, I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to be righteous. I'm just trying to just live. Like, you know, like I don't really do too much. I don't go nowhere, I don't do anything. And it's just like, damn like you know and i just been trying to have just keep my faith and you know just keep praying and that everything will work out for me for the best i don't know if i'm still going through this because i didn't learn anything but i feel like i learned so much during this process that it's just like okay enough is enough like leave me alone let me be you know just let me be at peace like i just want peace of mind I don't want to continue to keep going to work fields and going to work with people down my back, with people watching my every move, with people talking about me when I don't do nothing to them, with people not liking me for no reason, they have no reason, and they just out here trying to attack me. And I know that once you get closer to God, like the attacking gets crazier and crazier and crazier but it's like if i'm doing what i need to do it's like why are you still trying to attack me like you know like it's like they know that you're talking to god they know that you're with god they see your light and it's just like yeah but like when is that that time when it's like they they are scared to come forth with the bs like you know if you guys know anything about this, I'm still on my journey. I'm still learning. So if you have any, like, like any knowledge for this or any explanational reasons as to why this keeps continuing or why is it even happening, like, please let me know down in the comments. Like, I'm trying my best to just remain humble, remain righteous, remain praying, remain, you know, just sticking to the Lord. I did everything what the Lord told me to do. I cut everyone off. I cut the jobs out. You know, I'm I'm trying my best. Like, you know, like I'm I'm still here, I'm still breathing. I'm just like, you know, I don't want to don't mind my heater, but um I don't want to keep living like that anymore. Like I don't wanna keep having to wash my back or or like stand up for myself all the time when I just be chilling dude like I just chill I mind my business I don't be in no drama it's like I don't know like I, I really don't know like you know it's maybe it's the way I look the way I dress it could be all that like it's not even maybe it is and it's like I know what it is but I'm trying to Put an end to it put a stop to it and without me lashing out without me cursing anybody out without me you know giving attitude or you know having but it's just like 
people just be poking me and poking me and poking me. I just be chilling, dude. And I just be like, like these people need, these people need Jesus. Like the way that they come in towards me, like, like I'm the problem. Like I'm the issue when they're clearly the issue here. So I don't know, y'all. I'm just here trying to trying to live my life the way the best way I can be with God the best way I can you know like so let's get into some devotions I guess just to calm my nerves and so I could have strength and wisdom and peace of mind like you know so today is January 31st and the title is strength and peace in the restlessness of life, when all your strength is gone, it's my peace to bring you, your soul, into a place of rest. In the midst of the chaos, I am going to give, I am giving you what you desperately need. The comfort of knowing that I am with you, listening to your prayers and orchestrating their answers. It is when the troubles of life cause your vision to become blurred, that your faith demands sight. I want you to learn to rest in me and rely on me through all the uncertainties that consume you. I have chosen to simply bless you with peace amid any and all circumstances that try to steal it. My peace is not a feeling but a place of being. In my presence, my within my grace is the peace that surpasses all understanding. It is in your weakness that I will be your strength. Every trial that tears about your soul is the opportunity to draw near me and embrace the unconditional love I have for you. Receive the blessing of peace I give to you and you will find the supernatural strength you need to trust me as you take one step of faith. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Psalms 29, 11. And let's go to Psalms 29, 11. And sorry, y'all. Uh, my mouth is still hurting because uh, I got my um, wisdom took out the other day. So it's still like throbbing and stuff. Trying to my best to talk. <clears throat> Alright. Psalms 9 11. It does say that, but we're just going to read that passage. I think we read this before. But we'll read it again. Give unto the Lord, O oh, you mighty ones. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of the glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars in the Lebanon. Le 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 he makes his them skip, also skip a calf, like a calf. Um, Libyan and Syrian, like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness in the Kadesh. Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give the deer give birth and strikes the forest bare. In his temple, everyone says glory. The Lord sat a throne at the flood and the Lord sits at a king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Yes, yes, yes.
time six six. Doing like time six six. Actually no. We're gonna do Psalms one forty. Praying for deliverance from evil men. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their hearts. They continually gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like this, a serpent. The poison of ass is under their lips. Selah. Keep me, O oh Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purpose to make my steps stumble. The proud have hidden a snare for me in courts. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me, Selah. I said to the Lord, you are my God. Hear my voice, my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not further his wicked scheme, lest they be exalt. As for the head of those who surrender me, let the evil of their lips cover them. Let the burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into the deep pits, that they rise up, not that they rise up again. Let a slander be established in the earth. Let the evil hunt the violent men to overflow him, to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted, afflicted. And let me pause right there because the the devil would definitely want you reading the Bible, will try to make you sound crazy, don't want you to speak the word, will say anything, like make you mess up on words and all that good stuff. So if that's happening, that's because they're trying to get me to not read the Bible. And yeah, if that happens to you, and if you're thinking things while you're reading, that's the devil trying to attack you. Okay. <clears throat> and justice for the poor surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name the upright shall dwell in your presence psalms 141 pray for safekeeping from wickedness lord i cry out to you make haste to me give ear to my voice when i cry out to you let my prayer be set before you as incense lifting up my hands as the evening sacrifice Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not incline my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men who work in iniquity. And do not let me eat off their delicacies. Let the righteous strike me. It shall be a kindness, and let him rebuke me. It shall be an excellent oil. Let my head not refuse it, for still my prayer is against the deeds of the wicked. Their judges are overthrown by the size of the cliff, and they hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the mouth of the grave, and as when, when one plows, plows and breaks up the earth. But my eyes are upon you, O God, O Lord, and you I take refuge. Do not leave my soil destitute. Keep me from the snares they have laid for me and from the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I escape safely. And that's that last part got to me because it's like, I just want these people to fall into their own stuff because like these people are bothering me and i'm just trying to leave safely leave peacefully and you know i don't want i don't want people attacking me even though i know that god's children get attacked all the time we go through the most and the wicked they they could do whatever they could just live life like it's nothing they don't get attacked they don't go through hardships. They don't go through troubles because they're the ones making the trouble, making the chaos. 
you know, being sent in freaking minions. Like, you know, it's like they get away with every little thing they do. And it's like they're doing his work. They they doing his work. But whenever that, you know, you fall out of the wickedness and the devil sees that, you know, he don't need you no more. Like he would just spit you out and, you know, he won't you don't have no purpose to serve for him anymore. But once you start serving the Lord and God, like he will send so many tests your way, so many like people who don't like you your way, like for no reason. Like it's just it's just a wicked place, a wicked world. And, you know, we are already on like it's like hell on earth already so it's like you either pick a side and stay there and do what you do like and i'm okay with being on the side of the lord on the side of the god because i know that i'm protected even when people are casting certain things on me i just know that no weapon for me shall prosper and it won't prosper because i am with the lord and i'm his, I'm his child we are his child. We're his children, and he will get through it. It's just the devil is trying to mess us up because they see that we're on the right path. They see they're trying to get our mind. He's trying to eat our minds alive and, you know, have us think all these crazy thoughts. And, you know, like, all of it's not even true. Like, it's not our fault that these people don't like us. It's not our fault that nobody is going to, you know, like me like you know or like you it's it's not our fault like you know we don't we can't tell somebody to like us we can't tell nobody to love us like it is what it is like people hated jesus people hated god like they don't like him like you know so it's like if he went through it like his children's gonna go through the same thing like instructions of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck my son if sinners entice entice you do not consent if they say come with us let us lie and wait to shed blood let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause let us swallow them alive like shield and hold like those who go down to the pit we shall find all kinds of precious possessions we shall fill our houses with spoil cast in your lots among us and let us all have one purse my son do not walk in the way with them keep your foot from their path for their feet run to evil and they make has to shed blood surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird but they lie and wait for their own blood they lurk secretly for their own lives so are the ways of everyone who is greedy for grain it takes away the life of its owners the call of wisdom wisdom calls aloud outside she raises her voice in the open squares she cries out that she concourses at the opening of the gates in the city she speaks her words how long you simple ones will you love simply simple city for scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge turn at my review surely i'll pour out my spirit on you i will make my words known to you because i have called and you refuse i have stretched out my hand and no one regarded because you disdain all my counsel and would have none of my rebuke i will also laugh will laugh at your clemency 
I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish upon come upon you, they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek diligently, but they will not find me. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They will have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies. For the turning away of the simple will slay them, and the complicity, complicity of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Security and wisdom. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding, for I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, Let your heart retain my words, keep my commands, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Um, therefore, get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. She will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She will deliver you. Hear my son and receive my savings, my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in the right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered, and when you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of wicked, and do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn away from it and pass on, for they do not sleep unless they have done evil, and their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your ears. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them. And health to your flesh. Keep your heart with the diligence, with diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Put away you a disciple mouth and put preserved lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. Hmm. Let's see, dangerous promise. This is um, Proverbs 6. My son, if you become shortly for your friend, if you have shaken hands in the pledge for a stranger, you are sneered by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words out of your mouth. So do this, son, my son. So do this, my son, and deliver yourself. For you have come to into the hand of your friend. Go and go and humble yourself. Plead with your friend. Plead with your friend. Give no sleep to your eyes nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle or gazelle from the hand of the hunter and like a bird from the hand of the flower. 
Yeah, because sometimes you would like to just go to your friends for things and, like, talk to them about things. And it's like, no, like, you don't need to do all that. Like, they, honestly, some people out here that is just so wicked nowadays, like, they will steer you into the wrong way, give you bad advice, you know, or they'll love to hear what you're going through and, like, pray on your downfall and be happy that you're going through something bad. The wicked man. A worthless person, a wicked man, walks with a preserved mouth. He winks with his eyes. He shuffles his feet. He points with his finger. Perseverously in his heart. Per a perversity in his heart. He devises evil continually. He sows discord. Therefore, his calamity shall come suddenly. Suddenly, he shall be broken without remedy. These six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that de devises wicked plans, feet that are swift and running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. Mm. Like he said, these are six things that the Lord hates. The Lord also hates stuff. Like, you know, like, he also hates certain things. Like, you know. Let's see what else the, my father wants us to continue on. All right. Let's do... Proverbs 10, wise saying of Solomon. A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is the grief of his mother. Treasures of the wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord would not allow the righteous soul of famish, but casts away the desire of the wicked. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich who has gathered in the summer is a wise son he who sleeps in the harvest is a son of who causes shame blessings are on the head of the righteous but the violence covers the mouth of the wicked the memory of the righteous is blessed but the name of the wicked will not will rot the wise in heart will receive commands but a prating fool will fall he who will be who, he who will walk, he, see, look at it. He who walks with integrity walks securely, but he who preserves, perverts his ways will become known. He who winks the eye causes trouble, but a prating fool will fall. The mouth of the righteous is well of life, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Hatred strips up strife, but love covers all sins. Wisdom is found on the lips of him who has understanding, but a rod is for the back of him who is the void of understanding. Wise people store up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is in his strong city. The destruction of the poor is the poverty is their poverty. The labor of the righteous leads to life. The wages of the wicked is to sin. He who keeps instruction is the way of life, but he who refuses correction goes astray. Whoever hides hatred has lying lips, and whoever spreads slander is a fool. In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver. The heart of the wicked is worth little. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of wisdom. The blessings of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. To do evil is like a sport to a fool, but a man of understanding has wisdom. The fear of the wicked will come upon him, and he <clears throat> and the desire of the righteousness will be granted. When the whirlwind passes by, the wicked is no more. But the righteous has an everlasting foundation. 
as vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the lazy man to those who sin him. The fear of the Lord prolongs days, but the years of the wicked will be shortened. The hope of the righteous will be gladless, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. And the way of the Lord is strength for the upright, but the destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. The righteous will never be removed, but the wicked will not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom, but the preserved tongue will be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what to what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked what is preserved. Dishonest scales are abomination to the Lord to the Lord, and but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, when comes shame, but with the humble is wisdom, the integrity of the upright will guide them, but the prosperity of the unfaithful will destroy them. Riches do not profit in the day of the work, and but the righteous delivers from death. The righteousness of the blessed blameless will direct his way aright, but the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will deliver them, but the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. When a wicked man dies, his expectation will perish, and the hope of the unjust perishes. The righteous is delivered from trouble, and it comes to the wicked instead. The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbors, but through knowledge, the righteous will be delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there is jubilation. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exhausted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. A talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is a faithful spirit conceals a matter. Where there is no counsel, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there's a safety. He who is certainly short, shortly for a stranger will suffer, but who hates being certainly is secure. A gracious woman retains honor, but ruthless men retain riches. The merciful man does good for his own soul. But he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. The wicked man does deceptive work. He who, sow, who sows righteousness will have a sure reward. A righteousness leads to life. So he who perishes evil pursues it to his own death. Those who are of a preserved heart are an abomination to the Lord. But the blameless in their ways are his delight. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished. But the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. As a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a lovely woman who lacks direct discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is worth. There is one who scatters yet increases more and there is one who withholds more than is right but it leads to poverty the generous soul will be made rich and he who waters will also be watered himself the people will curse him with withholds grain the blessings will be on the head of him who sells it he who earnestly seeks Good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like collage. He who troubles his own house will inherit the wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. If the righteous will be recommended of the earth, how more 
the ungodly in the sinner. Hmm. Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked intentions he will condemn. A man is not established by wickedness, but the root of righteous cannot be moved. An excellent wife is the crown of her husband, but she who causes shame is like rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked are lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright will deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. A man will be commanded according to his wisdom, but he who is a preserved heart will be despised. But better is the one who is slighted but has a servant than he who honors himself but lacks bread. A righteous man regards the life of his animals, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He who tills his land will be sat satisfied with bread, but he who follows the frivolity is devoid of understanding. The wicked covet the catch of evil men, but the root of the righteous yields fruit. The wicked is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous will come through trouble. A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense, <coughs> recompense um, of a man's hands will be redendered to him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wise. A fool worth is known at once, but a prudent man covers shame. He who speaks truth declares righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of a wise promotes health. The truthful lip shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Mm. Let's go back and read that. The truthful lip shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. And that's so true because people who are like always lying or, you know, just like making stuff up about you or, you know, just just being in a wicked ways, it lasts, but just for a moment, you know, but... <laughs> Those, those, uh, the righteousness and the truthful lit, yeah, they gonna last forever, you know? And it's just crazy because they think that, you know, like people are, like us are going to forever be down, you know? They love to see us down. They love to see us sad. They love to see us depressed. They love to see us, you know, just down, like, you know, like, and miserable. And that only, that's only temporary, baby. But when they feel that way towards us, oh, it only lasts for a moment. And when they doing all that evil stuff, it's going to last for a moment. The seat is in the heart of those who despise evil, but counsel counselors of peace have joy. No great troubles will overtake the righteous, but the wicked shall be filled with evil. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal truthfully are his delight. A prod Prudent man conceals knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaims foolishness. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the lazy man will be put to forced labor. Anxiety in the heart of a man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. The righteous should choose his friends carefully, for the way of the wicked leads to them astray. Mm. Y'all hear that? Y'all gotta choose y'all friends wisely. And that's exactly, like, this is for me, too. Because, girl and boy, like, I just been choosing friends that weren't the best of friends for me. Like, you know, and you really have to choose wisely because they really could be astray. Like, they could, like, just be in your face, like, the, like they're the bestest person. Like, and deep down, 
they really hate you. They really don't like you. First time meeting you, they hated you. First time they lo locked eyes on you, they're like, oh no, like, you know? Uh, <clears throat> the lazy man does not roast what he took in hunting, but diligence is a man's precious possession. And the way of righteousness is life, and in his pathway there is no death. A wise son needs his father instruction, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. A man shall eat well by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of his of the unfaithful feasts on violence. He who guards his mouth preserves his life. Let's see. I should keep going. He who opens his wide his lips, open his wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of a lazy man desires and has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. A righteous man hates lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and comes to shame. Righteousness guards him whose way is blameless, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. There is one who makes himself rich yet has nothing and one who makes himself poor yet has great riches the ransom of a man's life is his riches but the poor does not hear rebuke the light of the righteousness rejoices but the lamp of the wicked will be put out by the pride comes nothing but strife but with the dwell with the well advised is wisdom wealth gained by dishonesty will be dis diminished but he who gathers by labor will increase. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. He who despises the word will be destroyed, but he who fears the com commandment will be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life. To turn one away from the snare of death, good understanding gains favor, but the way of the unfaithful is hard. Every pertinent man acts with knowledge, but a fool lays open his folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a faithful ambassador brings help. Poverty and shame will come to him who disdains correction, but he who regards a rebuke will be honored. A desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the common companion of fools will be destroyed. Evil pursuers sinners, but the righteous good shall be repaid. A good man leaves an inheritance to his ch children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Much food is in the fallow ground of the poor, and for the lack of justice there is waste. He who spares his rod hates his son, but he who loves his disciplines him promptly. The righteous eats to the satisfied of his soul, but the stomach of the wicked shall be in want. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to stop right there. And, um, yeah. Because I feel like that honestly like helped me calm down and you know it's like at the end of the day the wicked people are gonna get what they deserve and they're gonna reap what they sow and um sometimes it's it's crazy because sometimes they get to see you just prosper and see that god is working within you and god is helping you and um, you know, he's getting you through this even in front of them, you know, like he's going to let them know, like, yeah, I did that. And yeah, they're doing just fine. He was laughing at them a couple months ago. He was laughing at them a year ago. He was laughing at them five years ago. He was laughing at them yesterday. But look, today 
for tomorrow. It's a new day, a new, a new you, a new anything, a new car, a new home, a new place, a new job, a new mind, a new heart, a new peace. And while wow, they're just gonna be stuck in their wicked ways, and it's gonna just last for that moment. It might last for a year, it might last for two years, it might last for a couple days, it might last for even a couple hours, but God always come through and show, like, oh, you was laughing at my child, you was, you hated my child, you hated me. If you hated my child, you hated me. But this is my child. And she or he is a son of God. So... I'm just happy that I got this out of me, my chest and was able to read this for myself and giving it to you guys too because, you know, like, it's just hard out here. Like, it's hard being a son of God because we go through so much. We go through a lot. And, you know, we go through poverty. We go through being poor. We be going through so much stuff, like so much hate. Even when you are poor, even when you don't have nothing, there's people out there who still, like, wishes this kind of bad stuff on you. Like, people who don't even know you. People who are gaining up on in clicks and forming clicks and trying to tear you down. It's like, for what? Like, you know, because at the end of the day, God got me. And you can see it on me. You can smell it through me. And you won't see it regardless. And you won't smell it regardless. And you won't know that he ain't playing he's not playing with us like y'all gotta have y'all little moment like congratulations y'all had y'all moment but i guarantee you we gonna have ours forever and ever like our moment is going to last forever not just for a moment it's going to last forever and they're gonna see it they're gonna see it okay and my bad guys, I, this video is kind of long, so I am getting a little sleepy. Um, but yeah, it's just, we got this. We just got to keep hanging in there, keep having our faith, keep getting close to God, keep reading the Bible, keep praying, keep just keep keeping up with him. Like, you know, because he keep with, up with us all the time. So it's like, we have to give back that same energy like you know how people be saying like certain people on this earth don't give back that same energy that they give why not focus that energy into the lord because he's gonna give it back more 10 times more like his power is way more powerful than anybody on this earth you know like that's why i said like sometimes it's not even good to confide in your friends your friends you gotta choose them wisely because they could snap on you and they could slip on you on a quickness like you know there's people out here killing their own friends there's people out here hating on their own friends it's really people out here who don't like their own friends but they so-called clean them as friends there's people out here stealing from their friends there's people out here doing all kinds of stuff all kinds of stuff and you don't want to be near that. You don't want to have that type of energy attached to you. So, like, now, what I said in the beginning, I know now that it's teaching me. All this stuff is just teaching me how to pinpoint these people out when they first come into my life. I have to know and see through these people and see the signs. See certain signs that the that my other people were doing to me. Like, you know? see the signs like if a job is not good for me it's time to go right then and there like you know like if this person is doing certain things for me it's time to cut them off there's no need to explain because you already know what's up like you know but yeah so um if you stuck out here um throughout this whole video um thank you and i love you and um if you are new to my channel make sure you like and subscribe and it's your girl Tay Imagine and I'm out and I'll see you guys with another video. I'll be back, I promise you, because things is always just going on. You know, the devil is always working and I'm going to be working and also letting me speak the word of the Lord, okay? And yeah, I love you guys. I see you guys later with another video and yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. And let's keep this family going. Like, I want our family to be big. You know, I want people to see through us because we are here and we ain't playing. 
we guys children and we not playing around so yeah i see you guys peace peace and blessings